Shalom, shalom. Kahalo, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Kakwadash, the honesty of the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and will, and citation to the brethren on the four countries of the earth, pushing the word and truth and sincerity. This is Ira, and uh, I'm one from Great Millstone, Wisconsin. Um, to this video is going to be about the, uh, the U.S. College in Pennsylvania. Um, they have a new, a new theology class, and it's called Queering God. And um, when you, what you get from this RT article here is in this college, they suggest that God is queer, you know, and they, they're against anybody, you know, that comes to challenge it, just like the LGBT community is, you know, they're against, if you say something against them or their way of life, you know, they want to try and rain down fire and brimstone upon you, you know, with, with the legislation and, and the police and the uh, propaganda, you know, now today. But this is how far perverseness in America has gone. You know, it's gone to even suggesting that the Most High him, himself is genderless because they don't understand and they don't even read the Bible for that matter that the Most High is, a, in fact, a man. You know, and it's stated on numerous occasions that the Most High is a man. You know, neither time, did, neither did it ever say that, that, that it didn't state the Lord's so-called gender, you know. The Lord, Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh is a masculine spirit, you know? You have to be a masculine spirit to, to rain down fire and brimstone on Sodom and Gomorrah, you know? You have to be a masculine spirit to, to send angels on earth to put people to death, man, you know? Oh, God, yeah, to, uh, you have to be a mas masculine spirit to hate uh, homosexuals. Yeah. To hate, uh, uh, to uh, set an order that states that the man is over the woman. Kind of, yeah. If he was a woman or if he was genderless, he would be emotional and he wouldn't care about uh, order in the household. You know, you know, even Yahweh Shai, when he was speaking to Philip, matter of fact, when Philip asked him, he asked him, the Lord show me the father. He didn't say, show me the genderless God or show me God, you know, and Yahweh Shai didn't respond back and say, you know, um, well, you know, Philip, God isn't really a man. God isn't really a woman either. God is all things. No. He responded back with, I will show you the father, you know, the father, meaning male, you know, you got the, you got the, the LGBT community that gets all outraged about, about now you can't even call your parents mother and father anymore. You got to call your parent, uh, spouse one and spouse two or parent one, parent two. That's wicked, man. Cause that goes against yeah. the natural order of things, right. you know, go ahead. Up. For as long as this world has been here or as long as man has been upon earth and uh, it's been established that man is man, woman is woman, and whatnot. And now all this world, it's been, it's just been happening in the back end. It's reincarnation and shit, but I mean, shit is crazy. It's stupid, man. Yeah, like you said, ever since there's been on this earth, there's only there's always been male and female, and male and female get together and they procreate. I mean, they have sex and they procreate and they uh -huh. generate life. That's the way it goes, man. You know, since the beginning of time. So why would you want to go ahead and change that? Change the natural order and natural flow of things. Because this world is full of perverseness. Go ahead, up. This is uh, St. John chapter 14, verse 8. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father. See, he said, show us the Father. He didn't say, show us, uh, show us, you know, the masculine and feminine form of the Most High. He said, show us the Father. Go ahead. And it sufficeth us. Mm-hmm. Yahweh Shai said unto him, See, it said it's a fight this stuff. So it's a, it's so it's enough for the Lord to show who the Most High is, and that the Most High is a man. The Lord, the word Yahweh means He is, He exists. You know, not she or he she is or it is. He is man. When you break down the word Yah, meaning He, how meaning exists. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I send His name. Come. Huh. Say that y'all ain't got the name, but you know. Or ain't getting the name, too. Getting kind of heated over this shit. Yeah, me too. It said, and it sufficeth us. Yahweh Shai said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, mm -hmm. and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? Mm -hmm. He that has seen me has seen the Father. Yeah, so Yahweh Shai told him, you know, you looking right at him. I'm the splitting image of the Father, you know? I'm the splitting image, splitting, splitting image of the Most High, you know? So when you see you see me, you see the Most High. I'm. Ex this is exactly what he looks like. Uh, Go ahead. And how sayest thou then, shoot us the Father? Mm -hmm. 
believest thou not that I am in the Father, mm -hmm. and the Father in me? Meaning, and that doesn't mean that they're the same deity, man. That means that they're in the same mindset, you know? Just like if you have a child, and people say, oh, your child acts just like you. He's a splendid image of you. That's oh. exactly what Yahweh Shah was basically just saying. Those who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Mm. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, mm -hmm. but the Father. You see, he, and he keeps saying Father, you know? He keeps identifying who this God is, you know? I'm going to read that again real quick. It says, the words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, mm -hmm. but the Father that dwelleth in me, mm -hmm. he doth the works. Yeah, so the Spirit of the Lord is dwelling, of the Father is dwelling in his Son, man, you know? That's why he acts and he performs judgment just like his father does. All right. It says, believe me that I am in the father and the father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Mm -hmm. Verily, very, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. Yep. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my father. Yeah. Yeah. So he, so he said it again, I go unto my father. And that's exactly what happened. You know, when Yahweh I died, his spirit went straight up to the father, man. You know? This, and, and it shows you, when you read this, see, this so goes to show that the so-called Christians and the rest of this world don't read the scriptures, man. At all. They don't pay attention to key words in the scriptures. They're all, they're super emotional and they care about, they want to personify the most high and what they think he should be. You know? But the Lord is not only... A, a man, but he's a man of war. You know? This is Exodus 15 and 3. It says, the Lord is a man of war. The Lord, Yahweh, is his name. You know? So the Lord is not only a man, he's a man of war. He likes violence. You know? He likes uh 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 battles and, and wars, you know? Like a uh like um on platoon yeah. with uh Charles Sheen was like, I live for this shit. <laughs> you know? You gotta keep your shit wired tight. God. That's God. the Lord, man. That's the Father. That's the that's the Most High. He lives for war. You gotta be a man you know? to deal with war. God. And the Lord starts wars and ends wars. God. He starts slavery and ends slavery. God. You know. I said like another statement. Uh, the movie Platoon is a good movie to watch. It's on Netflix right now too. Yeah, God. I gotta right. watch that tonight. God, I got to look at this. Okay, God, God. Oh, and speaking of that, of the Lord being a man of man of war. You say that the Most High is gender neutral, you know, and, and say it said the Most High is gender neutral. Well, the Lord isn't gender neutral, you know. The Lord is against certain things, man. The Lord is against uh, uh, homosexuality. The Lord is against um, uh, bestiality and lesbianism, you know. The Lord is against kind trans, right? Trans that whole the whole the whole thing the whole acronym. <laughs> the Lord is against it, you know. Kind, you know, and the Lord is against the woman usurping, uh, usurping authority over the man. So only what he shows favoritism to the men because he is a man. You know, you can't tell the Lord what to do because he can do what the hell he wants to. He's the Most High. You know, go ahead. Huh? This is uh, Leviticus chapter eighteen verse twenty-two. Thou shalt not lie with mankind mm -hmm. as with womankind. Right. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. So if the Lord is gender neutral, why we put? A commandment in the scripture that says you're not supposed to uh, basically have sex with a man is not supposed to have sex with a man and a woman is not supposed to have sex with a woman. You know? Wow. If he was gender neutral, he wouldn't care. He would have put that right? in the scriptures. He wouldn't have put that in there. You know? Let me, uh... Everything that y'all fighting for now today with this whole LGBT community and that queer shit, I'm pretty sure if he was gender neutral or gender, uh, what's it called? Gender neutral. Gender neutral, he would have put that in the scriptures. Right. It wouldn't have been no uh, Moses went to get the laws and uh, um, and um, you know it w all that would have been in the law. Kind all that would have been in the law, man. Yeah, y'all wouldn't have sure. to fight for equality, right? Exactly. And, and fight to have equal rights. And I think y'all might as well just be the Jews. Kind, <laughs> right? You know, the Lord. If you, if this was the case, if the Lord was for all of this, you wouldn't have to fight so hard to be accepted in society, man. You know, let me uh. Do I have some something in this article real quick? I don't forget about the yeah, article. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is uh, RT.com. It says, The U.S. College suggests the most high is queer. 
heaven forbid, you challenge it. Let's lock it. It says, it says, another liberal institute, matter of fact, let me read the, read the sign in this picture, man. It says, God was the first gender non-conforming being. You know, and the reason why reason why he's holding up that sign, reason why it says that is because they don't they don't perceive the Lord as Lord, Lord Yahweh Most High as male or female, you know, because they haven't read across those scriptures or or even paid attention to scriptures like that that say the Lord is a man of war that says you know uh, the uh, the Most High is the Father, you know, they ignore all of that because they want the Lord they want the Most High to be what they are in their minds to justify what their what their means and what they're doing. You know, just for their wickedness. It says, right, it's ridiculous, isn't it? It says, another liberal institution is challenging an age-old dogma, this time in hollowed religious ground, with radical new ideas. This world would not be worrisome if dissenting voices were invited, but that is not the case. Hell hath no fury than a liberal scorn. And when you go into the word liberal, because uh, me and I are not going to this a lot, the word liberal here is basically um, an offshoot of the word liberty. No, uh, liberal. It says open to new behavior or opinions and willing to discard traditional values. So a liberal is somebody that, that accepts anything that comes along. Right? And if, it, if, if he feels like it's better than what the traditional way is, then he's going to scrap that traditional way. Basically, a liberal is somebody that has no integrity, you know? And I can tell you right, nobody in the so-called LGBTQIA, whatever other acronym that they create, has any integrity, man. Because if they did, they would have stayed a man. They would have stayed a woman. They would have they not done things that are unseen, you know? A lot of them are missing the, uh, you know how they say, uh, do your research? Yeah. And, um, you know, being prudent. Mm -hmm. A lot of them weren't prudent, man, when they made the decisions. Right. That's why a lot of them uh, commit suicide and all that shit. Yeah, they want to take it back, you know, because uh, there's a doctor in England that um that stated, matter of fact, I gotta find that article too, that um that stated that uh homosexuality and transgenderism has its roots in in uh what do you call it emotion emotion emotionalism or emotions. You know, it's not a sound. It's, they're not sound decisions. You know. Emotionalism. Uh, I forgot the, the word that he that he used, but basically, yeah, I'm gonna find an article later. But um, basically, and he, and he went and proved that it has no logical basis. You know, it's strictly based off of feelings and emotions. You know, let me get back to the article though. It says hell hath no fury than the liberal scorn, and if Swarthmore College sit, sit, situated on a lush, tree-lined campus in the state of Pennsylvania. Teaches that the Most High might be experiencing some doubt over his slash her sexual identity. Then who are we more mortals to doubt it? But they don't even understand that the Lord isn't confused over his sexual identity. The Lord knows exactly who he is. You know, the script, he said, his name means he exists. That tells you he's a man. It says, perhaps the liberal college might even consider extending an invitation to the God Almighty. Who micromanaged the creation in just seven days, which we know seven thousand years, to enroll in this course, which promises to stretch the limits of gendering and sexing the divine. That's perverse. Yeah. Like, stretch the limit of, of of gender. You know, that's that's perverse, man. This this place has to, and you wonder why we we prophesy day in and day out that this place be destroyed, man. Yeah. This is this is wicked on all levels. It says, yes, sexing the divine, questioning whether God might be male or female, however, is not a very radical concept. It is a harmless game of intellectual pursuit. No, what, what's, intellectual, what's harmless? Ain't nothing intellectual about that. There's nothing harmless about this. God. Sodom and Gomorrah got nuked. That's right. And that's exactly for homosexuality, right. man. There's nothing uh, 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 harmless about this. This is not a harmless game. This is not a game. This, your, your life is on the line. You know, thinking about this, thinking about this, this uh, perverseness, man. You know, yeah, you're still young, man, huh? but the Lord said He gave him up to that. Kind too. So it says, harmless game of intellectual pursuit. Kind, kind, go ahead. 
Saki. <clears throat> this is uh, Romans chapter 3, verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Mm -hmm. Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? Right. So just because you don't believe that the Most High is a man, does that does, does that take away the fact that he is one? No. For uh, for the Most High, uh, 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 the Most High forbid, yea, yeah. let the Most High be true. Mm -hmm. But every man a liar. Right. These scriptures are true, man. But every man is a liar, and you guys are you 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 people are making up lies on the Most High. You know, committing blasphemy. You know, saying that the Most High is a is 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 genderless is is blasphemy against the Scriptures, man. It says, most likely. It says, uh, the Most High forbid, yea, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar, mm -hmm. as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Right. So see, we're justified in what we're saying That's because right. the Scriptures back up what we're saying, man. We're speaking through the Holy Spirit. Well, the Holy Spirit is speaking through us, you know? So we're justified in everything that we're saying, even though in this world, you know, it's a crime for us to be men. Let's rip the pages. It's a crime for us to be men. It's a crime for us to think in the traditional sense, you know? Because the world wants everybody to be perverse. And we have integrity, you know? It says, perhaps, it's, uh, it's like, it's like it. It says, then along came Pope John Paul II. As a matter of fact, let me go back up. It says, in the game of intellectual pursuit, a bit like pondering the existence of angels, or whether that internal hotspot for sinners known by the Italians as Inferno is real. Then along came Pope John Paul II with his 1992 hit release, Catechism of the Catholic Church, which had the last word on the debate by stating unequivocally, that the Most High is neither man nor woman. He is God. So John oh, John Paul II, the only reason why you're still hanging on to this farce, that the Most High doesn't have a gender, is because John Paul II, which that he's a damn demon, John Paul II, the Crypt Keeper, wrote a book saying that the, that the Most High isn't man or, or female, man, because he's pushing that LGBT agenda too. That was the whole agenda going back to the 1960s in the Civil Rights Movement, rights movement man. With Bayard Rustin, it wasn't to push just the civil rights of of uh, of African Americans. It was to push the civil rights of all people, including the the homosexuals, man. And that's why you have the whole LGBT movement now today. Civil rights movement just transformed into LGBT. That's why they always say uh, 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 g gays is the new black people. Yeah. It says. You can't tell Kind. It says. That blast of papal certitude worked to pa to placate everyone, at least for a while anyways. Today, with ultra-liberal classes like the one being offered at by professor, professor Gwen Kessler, entitled Queering God, Feminist and Queer Theology, Religious Doctrine threatens to be turned on its head to such a degree that what is left bears no resemblance to Christian teachings. See, it, doesn't, it bears no resemblance to the Bible that could eventually have long-term consequences for society at large, which has depended on religious teaching as a moral anchor in various ways, including in the right of marriage, raising children, and even punishing criminals. So they're saying that this is going to change society as a whole. Now, that, if that doesn't sound like an agenda to you, like your brother said, that something is wrong with you. It says, without delving into specific biblical passages, it goes without saying, that introducing feminist, queer, and transgender interpretations of the Most High in the Holy Book is guaranteed, at the very least, to spark some heated controversy. Of course it is, because it goes against the very backbone of so-called of what this uh, of what this country was founded on, you know. But it goes against the moral backbone of the Most High Himself. And you think people are going to stand for this? You know, there's always going to be somebody that's going to be against uh, this this, uh, this so-called movement because it's not, it's unseemly and it's not natural. It says, it says, and that is necessary, uh, it's necessarily a bad thing. 
After all, robust debate between dueling parties has been part of the Western world's experiment with democracy since its inception and is even enshrined in the First Amendment. So, really, all this goes back to the First Amendment, you know? You can say what you want to say, you can do what you want to do, you can worship the God that you want to worship. Do what thou wilt, man. That's what was enshrined in the First Amendment. Do what thou wilt, you know? Do whatever you want to do, do whatever makes you feel good, no matter what. As long as it makes you feel good and you're happy with it. That's, that's, that's a false teaching. Because those that that's a way that'll lead you to death. Right. You know? Oh, you have something? Um. That one. You can go. Yeah, I can go. Okay. This is Romans chapter 1. I'm going to start at the 25th verse. It says, For this cause. Now, it's not a. This whole movement is not a. a, a uh, what do you call it? Um, not a choice, you know. So people aren't supposed aren't you, the whole the whole argument of are people born homosexual or not? The answer is no, you know. But the Lord gave you up gave certain people up to that vile affection so they can be homosexual, you know, so they can be uh, lesbians and do things that aren't seen, you know, because that's a learned behavior that is taught. You know, and the Lord causes it to be taught to certain individuals and for those individuals to latch on to that behavior so they can be condemned. This is Romans 1 and 26. It says, For this cause the Most High gave them up unto vile affections, for unto their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving that the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one to another. Men with men working that which is unseemly. So they, so they, you're going against the natural order by, by saying that, you know, hey, I'm going to have sex. I'm, a man saying he's going to have sex with another man, and a woman saying they're going to have sex with another woman. That's going against the natural order of things. That's a vile affection, and it says burn in their lust one toward another, you know. And so the, the the answer to the question: Can a man love another man? Can a woman love another man? I mean, love woman woman love another woman like a woman loves a man, and vice versa is false is hell no because that's nothing but lust why because man was created to love woman and vice versa there's no point for a man and a man to be together or a woman or a woman to be together because they can't procreate they cannot create children it says, uh, it says and likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burn in their lust one toward another men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meat and a lot of times that recompense that you're received is aids uh syphilis gonorrhea all these so-called sexually transmitted diseases you know With aids them, they don't even uh cure kind you know and that be on the lord too that be on the lord too will be one of y'all that with that shit man kind it says, and even as they did not like to retain the Most High in their knowledge, see, they didn't. They don't want to hear about the, hear what the Most High has to say. You know, that's why this 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 uh this this article is telling you that they're they're changing the ways of, of so called theology. You know, meaning the uh the study of the study of the Most High. They're changing it to include the LGBT community. You know, they even made created a Bible. That changed Leviticus uh, 18 and 22, you know, in Leviticus 20 and 13 to not to, to not say that the Lord is against uh, the homosexuals and that, to not say that they're supposed to be put to death, you know, to accept them. That's blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, I heard this at a specific point. You know, grab it, yeah. it says, so like it says, as even as they did not like to retain the most high in their knowledge. The Most High gave them over to a reprobate mind. And the rep word reprobate means void of judgment. You know? And that's ju that's completely perverse judgment to want to go and uh, have sex with another man. Or a woman to go have sex with another woman. You know? Or a woman have sex with a with, with a child under 12. Or a man have sex with a, with, with a child under or with a, with a man child under 12. You know? That's reprobate. That's devoid of judgment. That doesn't even make sense. 
when you look at the grand scheme and the nature of the world. It says, it says, to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness. That's the traits of these uh, homosexuals. Huh. Malicious mean what? Ill will? Yeah, malicious is evil. Man, and they are evil. They are evil, man. Covetousness. They, 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 they want what other people have, you know, and they'll do anything to get it. Unrighteousness and fornication. It's the reason why they seek the rights. Kind of. It says full of envy. Which stands the reason why they seek the rights. <laughs> kind, kind. That's why they be going so hard, man. They hate the normal people. Kind. <laughs> These people are retarded, man. Murder, debate. You said murders? Yes. Murderers. Uh, your top rappers. Yeah. The rappers that had to sell out had to do a homosexual acts. Mm hmm. They can even commit murder. They commit murder to be to uh for as blood oath, uh, uh uh sacrifices. Yeah. Uh, you know they get the the spiritual power shit on the left hand side too. They Satan um, held up his bargain, into the bargain, you know to a certain degree. It's a shitty bargain, but he still held it up. They, they do get to uh stand and shine, mm -hmm. you know. It says debate, <clears throat> you know, and and the, and the homosexual would sit there and debate you to death, you know, on something that he shouldn't even be doing. You can't. How are you going <laughs> off their thoughts, but not off of all what's in the scriptures? Deceit, malignity, whisperers, mm. backbiters, haters of the Most High, and that's what this article is about, man. This people, th you think this article is about um, pride and and self preservation and and no, this is about self destruction and this is about uh, hate, man. This is hate against the Most High and all things that are traditional in the world. It says, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, mm. disobedient to parents, without understanding. Without understanding. And you can clearly see that they don't understand anything in the scriptures. Because they said that uh, that, the, that, the, uh, that, the, that the Lord is, is genderless. When if they read the scriptures, they'll tell they can tell that the Lord is simple that the Lord is a man. Mm -hmm. It says, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful. You know, when you think about it, these homosexuals, these in the LGBT community don't care about anyone but themselves. That's right. Anyone that has the same mentality as them. Everybody, mm -hmm. they don't care about anybody else. Okay. Okay. It says who knowing the judgment of the Most High, and some of them even know the judgment of the Most High, they know that they're going to be put to death. I said one of my cousins um, is a lesbian, and I told her the judgment, and she said, I know, cuz, I know, I know, but that's how I feel. And then she was arguing up and down, and then another uh, a, a, a homosexual guy came on the comment board, and he said, he, he, he put, posted the scripture, and he said, the man is right," he said. I, "I'm know I'm, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be judged and put to death for this, but I can't stop." Okay. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> right. "I was like, he right, because right. the Lord gave him up to a vile affection." That's it. You know, go head along into what the Lord put the mindset the Lord put you in, man. Yeah. We are gonna go head along to doing what we supposed to do according to, to the scriptures, man. But they know the judgment of the Most High. Yeah, you know? see, this is new. I mean, the homosexuality isn't new, but it's coming out. It's new. Mm -hmm. You know how they push it. Yeah. Because that's why they're giving out the rights. Mm -hmm. That's why they're declaring it all over the world. Yep. And all of that. Everybody got to hear the understanding of uh, um, if you were, were to be a homosexual. Uh -huh. You might not get to hear it in depth, the, uh, everything that comes with it, as far as the diseases, because Esau is deceptive. Mm -hmm. But you got to hear uh, at least the uh, righteous side of it, uh, uh, God said that you're not supposed to sleep with another man. God said you're not supposed to sleep with another woman. Mm -hmm. Everybody got to hear that shit. That ain't that ain't that ain't new. They just chose to do that, man. Yeah. But you know, actually, the Lord chose it for them. Yeah. So there's a two third, there's a one third. The Lord got everybody in this kingdom set to who they supposed to be. And that's just how it is. That's right. So it says. That they which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. So everybody that 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 hasn't picked a side, 
that wants to be so called neutral and saying, oh well, that's that's what they do, that's their life. As long as they don't bring it over here, they're gonna be put to death too, man. You know? Because you eventually, you know, and Jake loves to say that. Yeah. Eventually you're gonna have to pick a side, man. Oh. You know? Yeah. Eventually there there is no no gray areas with the most high. It's good versus evil. You say you have something? Okay. This is uh, Revelation chapter 22. Verse 18. It says, For I testify to every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man add, shall add unto mm -hmm. these things, the Most High shall add unto him the pledges that are written in this book. And that's why a lot of people are being judged and put to death right now. Especially those in uh, the, you know, in the LGBT community. You know, in the pastors, in the, in the, and the uh, publishing companies that change the words that are written in the scriptures, man. They created a home, a, a LGBT Bible. That is complete blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, man. You know, and they think they're not going to be judged for it. But the scripture, they're going to get the plagues that are written in the book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of mm -hmm. this prophecy, the Most High shall take away his part out of the, the book, book of, of life. life. So the Lord is going to put you to death for taking out certain words and changing definitions and things, man. You know? That's that's blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, which is worthy of death. That's something that you cannot be forgiven for. That's right. And from the and from the things which are written in this book, mm -hmm. uh, he which testified these things said, Surely I come quickly. Huh. Even so come the Lord Yahweh Shah. Yeah, so and he said he comes quickly. So while everybody is following around and Oh, I'm going to do what I want to do for the time being. And I'll, I'll do that. I'll do the Bible later. Or I'll, I'll come to the Lord later. Or i got still time to live my life and do what I want to do. The Lord, is he comes quickly. He's on his way back. And what you're going to get when he comes back is the plagues that's written in this book. Judgment. Judgment and woe and death and misery. Man. That's what the scriptures, that's what's written in the scriptures. You know? The scripture is saying, what's it, Ezekiel 33? Ezekiel 3. Uh, at right. The end, or is it the two at the end? Kind of. Uh, what was written therein? Lamentations, mourners, and woe. That's right. You know? Meaning miseries. This isn't going to be a happy time, especially for your kind, you know? And I'm talking to Israel, you know? Not going to be a happy time for Israel, man. This is 2 Peter 2 and 4. It says, For if the Most High spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. You know, and that's the elect that was in heaven with Yahweh Shai. They were, they were cast down into these earthly bodies to live out our hell and our judgment on this earth. That's right. And spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the word of the world of the ungodly. You know, so Noah and his family were saved, and the rest of the ungodly, which included homosexuals, which included adulterers, which included witches and warlocks, which included liars and thieves. You know. Were, were, were put to death. It says, it says, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow. Now, when you go into the story of Sodom and Gomorrah in Genesis, uh, set, I believe, 16? No, uh, 19. You know, when you go into Sodom and Gomorrah, Sodom and Gomorrah was a, was a uh, region of five cities in Africa. Then they were all into homosexuality, man. And the Lord put them, to, and the Lord nuked them for that homosexuality, you know? It says, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly, you know? So that, so that Sodom and Gomorrah should be an example of what happens to uh, to those that do unseemly acts, man, you know? But you people aren't taking heed of it. You think you can do whatever you want to do until those nuclear missiles, ICBMs, fall out the sky, you know? Then it's going to be, oh, God, help me. But where was God when 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 you wanted to do what you wanted to do? You you're, you were speaking blasphemy against him in this article, man. Mm -hmm. So you people deserve everything that's coming to you, man. And I'm not just talking to the LGBT community. I'm talking to the whole world, man. I'm talking to two-thirds of our nation and the heathens all over the planet, man. Y'all deserve everything that's coming to you. That's right. Because those who are with this are against the Lord, man. Wholeheartedly, and you deserve to be put to death, man. This is what I said. They that hate me love death. Kind. They that hate hate him love death, and you're they're showing that they hate the Lord, man. 
by trying to change up his words, man. Trying to change up, change up his doctrine that he created, you know. Trying to fashion themselves in the way that they want to be fashioned. It says, and deliver just lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, for that unrighteous, for that righteous man, dwelling among them, and seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. And that is vexing. Lot had to uh, witness and hear all that stuff. Yeah. From the conversation, from the conversation to probably, you probably even heard people having sex and shit. Mm-hmm. And then you got all this on the TV, on your YouTube, all that shit, man. This is vexing, man. I'm tired of seeing this. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 8, verse 36. Oh, I do got one more verse. Sorry. Uh, verse 9, it says, The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations, oh. and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. Okay. So, ultimately, uh, uh, judgment is going to be uh, destruction. A lot of y'all still living just for destruction. Okay. This is Proverbs chapter 8, verse 36. It says, But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. Mm. All they that hate me love death. Mm. All right, so if you want to take part in the, the uh, homosexual acts, or if you don't see a problem with them, no man being cool with them and shit like that, that's how they used to try to uh, treat us, de- not treat us, but uh, that's yeah, homosexual. On us. Yeah, oh, in, in school, in high school and shit. Gradually. You know, we had to be cool with the homosexuals because they would persecute us and whatnot. But if you want to be cool with them, any of that, even the teachers, even the, see, I'm going off the laws of what Esau created. But the laws of the Most High, how about you shot still stand? So you're gonna be judged for even for uh, for, for uh, you know having that mindset of being cool with him or not saying anything wrong with him. Or I yeah. got a cousin that's a homosexual, shit like that. Yeah. Like and like they can't defend themselves. Or what does say is a, a, a gender neutral? Gender neutral, yeah. Like they can't defend themselves, man. The mightiest men in in, in history were homosexuals. Uh, Julius Caesar. Yeah. Tiberius. Kind of. You know? Your presidents. Right, your presidents. All this all that came back around. Yeah, definitely. Oh, definitely clear. Yeah, I have to look I'm looking at Strange. <laughs> Strange. Strange. I she had a clear feeling. Okay. That's sweet. So the word queer means strange or odd, you know? And something that's odd is off, man. Something that's odd is, is, is weird. It's it's it's, it's something that's not right, you know. Like when you look at, like when you look at a math math problem, you know, you see two plus two equals five. You're like, ah, oh, that's odd. I Meaning it doesn't look right, you know. It doesn't seem right. Um. But it said um, queer as an adjective. Century 1500, which is actually 1400. So strange, peculiar. Eccentric from Scottish, perhaps from Low German, Brunswick dialect, queer, oblique, off center, off center, <laughs> related to German, Damn. queer, oblique, perverse, mm, off center and perverse, man. Strange, off center and perverse. Odd, odd. You know, meaning something that's not right, wicked. You know, because something that's strange, something that's odd, something that's perverse, something that's off center is wicked, man. You know, because it's not perfect. This is the second. Uh, you, you got That's confusion. Scripture? Yeah, kind of, kind of, some confusion, kind of. You know, scripture? Uh, one second. I'm not reading it anymore. Kind of, kind of. It says, Sense of Homosexual, first recorded in 1922. Because they've been posting the word queer since 1922. Oh. That's, 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 that's. Any more scriptures do I have? Uh, yeah, I got one more. <clears throat> but yeah, man. So you so you see, and you said it said queer uh, as pertaining to homosexuals, not circa nineteen twenty two. So they've been pushing that word queer into the limelight since then, man. You know, and then they used the 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 civil rights movement to push. Uh, equality, not for just African Americans or you know, or Judah, but for all, you know, and that gave leeway for the LGBT 
to sneak in there under the radar through Bayard Rustin and, and, and uh, Martin Luther Queen, man. You know, because my, my, a lot of you don't know, Martin Luther Queen was a homosexual himself. Mm-hmm. Why are you sneaking that in there? They're sneaking out the, uh, the true history of uh, Israel altogether. God. You know what I'm saying? We're immigrants and all that shit, shit. Yep. But, uh, yeah, this is uh, Galatians chapter 6. I don't know if I read this. Verse 7. Do not deceive. Mm-hmm. The Most High is not mocked. The Lord is not mocked. And y'all are mocking the Most High. You know? But the Lord said he's not mocked. Meaning you can't put get one over on the Lord, man. He's, he's looking at you. He's going to find you out, man. And he's going to make you squeal. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Right. So you, you sow wickedness, you're going to reap wickedness the same, man. You're going to reap. You sow death, you'll reap death. You know? And uh, like uh, brother, I now always like to say, homosexuality is a form of eugenics, man. And you are killing your, you especially you Israelites, you are killing your own nation, man. And because of that, you're gonna receive death in return, man. Not by us, by the Most High. It says yeah, Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because you guys like to say, oh, they're they're threatening, they're threatening us. No, no, no. The Lord said you are going to be punished. Is that it? Yes, sir. God, this is Second Ezra 15 and 7. It says verse 8. No Khan, Socket 15 and 7. It says, Therefore saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Mm-hmm. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Yeah, so the Lord is speaking now, man. He's not holding back now. And he's not going to suffer all his people to be here anymore. It says, Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. So, things like homosexuality and bestiality and and, and all this pornography and sex, 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 and do what thou wilt. The Lord isn't going to going to uh, suffer that allow, anymore, man. He's not going to allow that continue. anymore. Sure. You know, allow kind of. Wow. It says, Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cries unto me, and the souls yeah. of the son. That's his elect. Huh. That's what we're doing right now. We're crying unto him, man. Because we get tired of this place. Ezekiel chapter 9. It says, Behold, the innocent and the righteous blood cries unto me, and the righteous and the souls of the just complain continually. Right, so um, just because you, um, you are complaining about this, that doesn't mean you're just. Mm-hmm. That's only for the elect of God. Israel, the ones that's uh, uh, really out there that's doing this work, man. We getting, like, how righteous are we of the elect? We're getting tired of this place. Mm-hmm. They come up with something new every day. It's something new every every day. Right. And it's stuff that they know that they're going to be pushing out. They're just waiting to push it out because Esau has a set agenda. God. But nonetheless, as they keep doing it, it's just bringing in the ushering in of our kingdom. Mm-hmm. So they don't want to keep pushing. Go ahead and say you get as many as you're supposed to have. God. Because there is going to, the elect, there is still going to be an elect that's going to be saved. That's right. 144,000. It says... Saki. It says, and therefore saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. You see, that's what I meant about the by uh, the one who will suffer his men to be in no more. Because as he taking his vengeance, he's going to be delivering his elect. That's right. See, uh, the, uh, the race riots, the martial law, the uh, uh, um, the uh, guillotine, the pestilence, all that stuff is going, is going to happen. And then when it's time for the elect to be delivered, you know, he gonna, he gonna uh, send the rest of the judgment, which is the nuclear missiles. Mm-hmm. It says, Behold, my people is led as they flock to the slaughter. Yeah, Esau, Esau is purposely pushing these philosophies out that Jake can uh, 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 take part in them, which yeah. is ultimately uh, their destruction. It says, Let as a flock to the slaughter, I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Mm-hmm. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm, and smite Egypt with plagues as before, and will destroy all the land thereof. And that's that is not a threat. That's a promise from the Yahweh Shmuel Shai. Man, this land is going to be destroyed for the unseemly and perverse and wickedness in this place. Man, the scriptures say I have a controversy with the with the inhabitants of the, that those that dwell in this land. Man, you know, and when the Lord God be with you, death follows. You know, so with that, that's the uh, that's all I had. That's the end of the lesson.
Um, we want to give our praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Achakwadash, the honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who we will, and citations to the brethren on the four corners of the earth, push the word of truth and sincerity. Mawath Lababa. Mawath Lababa. Shalom. Shalom.